Hello everyone. Welcome to Yashoda Hospital's online segment, The Health Talk Session. In today's episode, let's discuss about recent advancements in the field of orthopedics. I'm Dr. Lakshmi and let's welcome Senior Orthopedic Consultant and Arthroscopic Surgeon from Yashoda Hospital's Sikindrabad. Welcome, sir. Hi. So, doctor, tell us more about yourself and your journey in this medical field. Um, I'm Dr. Nitin. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and I specialize in arthroscopy, sports injuries and treatment of shoulder pains. I've been practicing in Yashoda Hospital in Secunderabad since 2012. Uh, after finishing my graduation, uh, then I immediately decided to um, go for uh, higher education and at the end of my MBBS, I was sure that I wanted to be a surgeon because that's what interested me and uh, hence I chose uh, to be a surgeon. And since then my surgical journey has started. For the first three years, I was uh, uh, mainly doing my surgical training and after that I finished my MRCS. After finishing my surgical training, that's when I decided that orthopedics is the speciality that uh, interested me more. So I wanted to do higher surgical training in orthopedics. And after completing my FRCS in orthopedics, then I did another year of fellowship in uh, sports injuries, uh, in knee arthroscopy, in shoulder arthroscopy, because that is a niche specialization, that is the new specialization, and hence I wanted to be perfect in that as well. Now, after completing all this, I came back to Hyderabad, my hometown, and I'm practicing in Yashoda Hospital, Second Divad. So, sir, sports, which was traditionally considered as a hobby, especially in our country, is now being taken up as career. So, how did you choose sports medicine? Uh, sports medicine, I've always been interested in sports. Now, before entering into medicine, uh, I was a tennis player. I was playing national level tennis and I could relate to all the sports injuries very easily. And I could make out uh, that sports, uh, I was getting interested more and more in sports. And combining my surgical interest, combining my orthopedic interest, along with my background of sports, amalgamated everything. And at the same time, uh, with very few sports medicine specialists in Hyderabad, uh, it all came together. And uh, I could relate my past experience with sports with injuries and that that really helps that really helps with the uh, when I talk to the sportsmen because I can relate to the injuries very well and I could talk to them very well about how to do certain exercises how to return back to play and uh, it all helps because of my sports background so how common are sports injuries sir? is there any one memorable incident which you can tell us after I came back is when I realized that the number of sports injuries are tremendous Presently now, majority of my practice is related to sports injuries itself. It's extremely common. It doesn't mean that sports injuries happen only when you're playing professional sports. Um, sports injuries can happen in regular public who play sports over the weekend, what we call as weekend warriors. One instance which really gives me a lot of pride in, 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 in treating uh, is a sports injury where one of a, a prominent athlete uh, visited me having a hamstring injury. So she pulled a muscle in her thigh, which is a very common injury. And uh, this was two months before a major event. So it was very challenging uh, to uh, not just to treat the patient, but also to make sure that she goes back to that professional level of sports and to for her to meet her to meet her expectations of getting a medal. After treating her, uh, she was extremely happy with her recovery. And in fact, she won a silver medal in her event and the first phone call she made after winning that was to me saying, thank you, doctor. If it was not for you, I would have just not participated in this and I would have given up and that, that made me very happy. So doctor, tell us what are the latest advancements in the treatment of joint pains? Early diagnosis is the most important thing where joint pain treatment comes into play, but sometimes it becomes late, you neglect it. And that's when the joint pain may increase. We do have latest techniques like arthroscopic techniques. What is arthroscopy? Arthroscopy is like a keyhole surgery. We don't open the joint and using a small pen-like camera, it is passed into the joint 
and whatever tear can be repaired easily using an arthroscopy. And the results of arthroscopy are extremely good. The complications of arthroscopy are minimal. The risk of infection is almost minimal and the recovery and uh, after an arthroscopy is extremely fast. So doctor, you've just mentioned about arthroscopy. So what are the advantages of arthroscopy or keyhole surgery over the normal surgery what we do? So arthroscopy is a keyhole surgery. That means that a surgery is done using a small instrument called arthroscope, which is like a four millimeters small instrument which goes into the joint and we can see a magnified vision of the joint on the television and we can make a diagnosis what is happening inside the joint so each and every part of your joint is visualized in a magnified way on the television and that gives us a good assessment of your joint the main advantage is you can have a good view of the whole joint so you don't miss any cause of the pain second main advantage is because you're not opening the joint the recovery after the surgery is extremely fast and it is predictable so your complications like uh, if you have like an infection or stiffness etc are almost minimized using an arthroscopic procedure so on a personal note what is your fitness secret doctor my fitness secret um, no nothing it's extremely important for everybody to remain fit along with following the right diet uh, exercising for half an hour to 40 minutes every day uh, keeps you fit so i still practice that uh, i go for my sports i play tennis i play cricket i go to the gym occasionally and uh, i maintain my fitness that way so in this pandemic i'm sure most of us are working from home and sitting for long hours so what advice you would like to give them we are getting a lot of patients with back pain with vague neck pain and muscular pains that is because of bad posture that they're maintaining and because of lack of exercise uh, you can easily overcome that posture is something which is in your hands you have to make sure you are sitting erect you have to make sure that your uh, your your reading book or laptop is at the level of your eyes and you're not looking down a lot of times along with that a little bit time on fitness every day uh, it could be uh, ex simple exercises uh, that helps tremendously not just in uh, getting rid of your pains but in making sure that you don't develop pains in the future also for a long time. So sir, I'm sure you spend most of your time in the hospitals especially with long hour surgeries. So how do you balance your work life? After my work, I make sure that I give enough time for my family I've got two daughters and it's it's always fun to relax uh, after you go home and spend time with uh, my daughters. But apart from that, uh, I like traveling a lot. Uh, I, I enjoy conferences. I enjoy teaching. So I, I, I go on conferences, at least two or maybe three conferences in a year. I visit some international centers uh, just to see what new things are happening in the sports injury world. For example, like I, I went to Barcelona just in 2019 and before that I went to London back again and before. So every country once uh, once a year I visit uh, along with my trip I combine this work so that there's a there's a combination of both and enjoy my trip as well. That's nice. Sir. So would you recommend this profession to your daughters as well? Would I recommend this profession to my to my uh, children? I left it open to them. I've given them a, uh, an option and I gave them a reality of what a doctor's life is going to be. Uh, the major problem now is uh, the amount of time it takes for you to specialize is extremely long. And do the children now have the patience, unlike before, I don't think they have the patience to, uh, to undergo training, specialization, super specialization and wait for some time to, uh, to get settled in life. Now they are comparing themselves to their colleagues, to their, um, uh, uh, to their classmates who are settling very fast. And uh, yes, doctor is uh, not their favorite profession at the moment. So I'm sure most of us have experienced some joint pains or the other and visit an orthopedician at some point in their life. So what lifestyle modifications would you recommend to us? 
we, we hope that you don't have to visit an orthopedic surgeon but my advice is if you have any any pain that is not going away in two three days of taking a painkiller please do not ignore it because uh, we can diagnose that very early the major problem for a sports person is uh, they don't want to miss any time and that is our challenge and uh, that is that is where a very early diagnosis a fast diagnosis accurate diagnosis and initial early treatment makes the difference where you can get back to sports so return to play how fast you can get depends on the player as well you have to seek attention from the doctor otherwise your injuries are only going to get prolonged and your sports career is going to come down a very disciplined warm up schedule strengthening schedule and a cooling down schedule for a sports person is a must you cannot take it easy if you want to maintain a pain free injury free sports career take help as early as possible thank you doctor it was wonderful talking to you thank you very much so this brings us to the end of this episode thank you all for watching us and do join us for the next week as well take care and stay safe